everybody. Thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, I don't know if you remember this, but circa 1964, the world taken by storm. This car right here, the Mustang, you know, they envisioned selling 50 to 100,000 of these cars. This car became so popular, they sold 500,000 of one model, nearly 500,000 of one model. Most makers today, Lexus, Infiniti, things like that, would love to sell 500,000 of everything that they sell. One model did that. There was a long waiting line. There was celebrities who had this. It was an amazing piece of history. And if you have uh, any uh, knowledge of how this happened, you'll know that Lee Iacocca was involved in this. Remember Lee Iacocca? Moved into Chrysler fame, right? Uh, I think his tagline was, if you can find a better car, buy it. All right, so they made 500,000 of those cars, but they definitely didn't make 500,000 of these convertible four-speed uh, wrapped up beauties like this. All right. This is a low production car, beautifully restored down to like the red line tires that are on it. Now, listen, when you think about this, red lines were a popular thing back then, but they were bias ply tires and these are radials. They make the driving so much better. You're going to be in the car experiencing that. I want people to see what you're doing when you're driving down the road and what they're seeing. And this is this, and this is fabulous, fabulous paint. It's really important to see the clarity of every letter in there. That way you know you're getting a really shiny car and shiny cars uh, have a lot of prep done first, then they're painted and then they become beautiful, beautiful pieces like this. So come on up, let's take a peek at that. So we look around at some of the GT features that are on this car. For instance, uh, disc brakes would have been an important GT feature, right? Four barrel carburetor, we do have disc brakes in there. This tri bar with the lights in the front, the fog light system. Uh, it's got a nice little switch inside. It's just the difference between just like a regular Mustang and this setup right here. And then we'll walk around the back of the car. We'll see the exhaust tips that come out of the Valance a la GT. A couple other small little things as well. But for right now, let's take a peek under the hood and see what the motivational power is. All right, so let's take a peek under here. This is really nicely detailed. I like this because the VIN number is stamped into the apron of the car, and it's very clear and legible, meaning that it hasn't had a lot of, you know, Bondo and body filler and, and accidents and things like that. Again, this piece right here, if it was in an accident, would have been replaced and the VIN would be gone because they didn't put it on a separate tag. Uh, they stamped it into the car here. They put it on a separate tag on the door, but I'm just talking about where it is right here. Detailed engine. It's black. Why is it black? Because in 65, that was the color of the engine. In 66, it went to blue, right? Uh, just little small tidbits there. And little things like the washer bag that's here and uh, the timing stickers and just emissions decals and the little battery. You say, well, Tone, how much is a decal? Five bucks, four bucks? You're absolutely right. It's not the decal that that's makes this car expensive. It's the detail that makes this car a much nicer car than maybe some of the others you might be looking at. Ford Motor Company hoses here, right? Nicely done. Great motivational power. Freshly rebuilt engine, transmission, and rear end all redone. The underneath of the car is beautiful, too. The paint, obviously, we saw that. And it sounds really good going down the road. Remember, these cars were a lot lighter than, say, uh, a Camaro or... Uh, some of the other bigger cars are out there, especially things like 442s or Chevelles. They didn't need huge power because they went. All right, so a little last couple touches on the GT. Here we have the GT exhaust, which would come out through here instead of this balance being solid and the pipes just sticking down there, right? And now uh, we'll look inside the trunk. Little stuff like having a boot on. You say, well, Tony, it's not a big deal to buy a boot. You're right, it's not a big deal to buy a boot, but it is a big deal as you're finishing the car, the right wheel. Uh, console and gauges. When we get inside the car, you'll see all that there. So let's take a peek inside here. All right. The reason I wanted to spend a second to show you this is because this has the right setup inside here and it has a spare tire and it has a tartan plaid cover. You see the tone. Come on. How much is it? How much is it? cover for a spare tire. That's not my point. My point is that it has a spare tire. 99% of the cars that we have here don't come with a spare tire. This one happens to have a spare tire, cover, jack pack, and it has a little bag it comes with so you can throw some spray wax in there and a couple rags or whatever you want to decide to go to a car show, right? Somebody loved this car and that's exactly how you want to get one. All right, so come join me in here real quick. So this is where you're going to spend your time, right? And this has a couple of really nice upgrades. For instance, some of the things like the kick panel speakers, this has a nice sound system in here. Kind of looks original, but it has a nice stereo. Uh, it's digital, and but it looks still stock, and it's molded into the kick panels. This uh, console that's here has cup holders a little nicer than the stock original console, and it's usable as well. Nice little place for your phone or whatever. 
Uh, I like to point out too sometimes little stuff like when the foot lighting is working. Well, this foot well lighting working may not be a big deal because it's bulbs, but the fact of the matter is the door pin switches have been replaced, the wiring, things like that are making all this function the way it's supposed to. All new dash with all new gauges in here in the camera style instead of the wood, right? Talking GT. So we've got the camera style dash there and uh, uh, everything just seems to be so fresh and so beautifully restored, including, believe it or not, the rubber floor mats. They're supposed to be rubber. We can get you a carpeted ones if you like, uh, but the rubber was what would have come from the factory during that time. This wheel is classic. I think if you owned a, this car, you would almost have to buy another one of these and put it in your office at home or office at work or whatever, just so you could like look at it because it's such a great piece of art. All right, so we close up this video. A lot of times someone will say, wow, that's a great looking car, but you don't really know why. So let's run down some of the list of that. Poppy red paint, uh, Rangoon red, as this color moves through the multiple years of uh, these cars, a red Mustang convertible is a great looking car. Just is. The matching red line tires, these are dual stripe red line tires. They're supposed to be dual stripe for the Mustangs, okay? Hidden inside there, what you can't see is disc brakes, right? Four speed power top with a boot and a whole GT package all the way around the car. This is a really, really nice piece of history. It's a great driving car, great looking car, and that's all the more reason to find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. Don't forget to uh, share this with your friends if you don't mind and click below. Also comment on it. Tell me a little bit about maybe a time you rode a Mustang or some crazy story you had uh, wheeling around and uh, maybe some aliens came and took you. I don't know, maybe I'm making up stuff, but you know what I'm talking about. Talk to us, let us know, and... Uh... <laughs>